Hello everyone, how to solve this problem for the values of t if we have t plus 1 is equals to t and we solve this problem for all the values of t. So here first we need to find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous root. So further we solve this problem for two methods. I hope so you like both of these two methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. And here I can explain the reason to solve this problem for first method. So if in your exam the question statement is that you need to uh, find the uh, root of this equation or you need to find the value of t in this problem. So in that case uh, you need to do the first method but if in your exam the question statement is that you need to determine the solution of this problem so then you directly move towards second method so both of these two methods are valid to solve this problem for any question okay uh, so here we move toward the solution of first method so in the first method uh, we need to take squaring on both of the sides and when we take squaring on both of the sides it will be written as t plus 1 whole square is equals to t square and further in the next step we move this t square from right hand side to the left hand side and it will becomes t plus 1 whole square and this is minus t square and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now here in the next step uh, we need to use the nice algebraic formula you know about that if we have a square minus b square is equals to a minus b times of a plus b and you see here the base of this term is our a and the base of this term is our b so here we need to just put the values of a and b into the right hand side of this formula so after substituting these values it will be written as here you have the value of a is t plus 1 minus the value of b is t only into again we have a plus b the value of a is t plus 1 and the value of b is t and this whole equation is equal to 0 and now here in the next step we need more simplifications and you see here this is the negative and this is the positive t are cancelled out by each other and here we get only 1 into here uh, these are the two same variable terms are added by each other we need to add the coefficients of both of these two terms so the coefficients of both of these two terms are 1 and after added we get it is 2t and this whole equation is equals to 0 so here we get on plus 1 as well okay so here uh, we will get one time of this term is equals to 1 and we get here 2t plus 1 is equals to 0 so here we need to find the values of t and for this we move this plus 1 to the right hand side and it will be written as 2t is equals to minus 1. And now here for the values of t we need to remove this 2 from left hand side and for this we divide both of the sides by 2. So when we divide both of the sides by 2 it will be written as in this form so these two and these two are cancelled out by each other and we get here t is equals to minus 1 over 2 so this is the only one root of the given equation which we get here from first method and now here in the next steps we need to verify that is this value of t be the solution or is this value of t be the extraneous root so for this we need to copy down given question statement here it is t plus 1 is equals to t and here uh, we will just verify the above value of t so for this we put this value of t on both of the sides of this equation and after substituting this here it will becomes minus 1 over 2 plus 1 is equals to minus 1 over 2 and here we need to take the LCM of this term and its LCM is 2 and this 2 and this 2 are cancelled out by each other and we get here minus 1 plus this is 2 times of 1 equals to 2 and this whole is equals to minus 1 over 2 and further in the next step we have this is minus 1 plus 2 is equals to 1 over 2 equals this is minus 1 over 2 and you see here 
uh, both of these are the not equal because this is the positive 1 over 2 and this is the negative 1 over 2 so here we just say that it is not possible that plus 1 over 2 is equals to minus 1 over 2 okay so here uh, further in the next step uh, we just say that these are not equal so if these are not equal it means that the value of t is equals to minus 1 over 2 is not satisfied our given question statement so if uh, t is equals to minus 1 over 2 is not satisfied our given question then we say that uh, t equals to minus 1 over 2 be the extraneous root of the given equation so this is the extraneous root and we cannot get any value of t which is satisfied our given question statement so we call that uh, this question has no solution because we cannot get any value of t which is satisfied our given question statement so this is the solution uh, uh, of final conclusion about first method and now here we again solve this problem for the second method and in second method uh, we need to copy down given question statement here and the given question statement is t plus 1 is equals to t so here uh, the second method be the very quick uh, or direct method so here we just directly conclude about the solution of this problem so for this we move this t to the right hand side and it will becomes uh, 1 is equals to t minus t this is the positive t when we move it into the right hand side it will become negative and we get here uh, 1 is equals to 0 and you see here 1 is not equals to 0 in general or we say that it is not possible it is not possible that 1 is equals to 0 so it means that we cannot get any value of t which is satisfied our given question statement so here we finally conclude about that this question has no solution because we cannot get any value of t okay so this is our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos